By the end of 1643, the fate of England lay poised in the balance. After nearly two years of bloody civil war, King Charles I and his royalist army were clearly on the defensive. Now was the moment for the Roundheads to strike a decisive blow. But Parliament's armies, riven by internal strife and ravaged by typhus, were simply too weak to destroy the beleaguered royalist armies and finish the war. One thing and one thing alone could now bring victory to either side, foreign intervention. As the Roundheads and Cavalier forces eyed each other warily, Royalist officers frantically scoured Catholic Ireland for recruits. Others went cap in hand to the courts of Europe in a desperate attempt to enlist new allies. But the race to find outside help was not to be won by the King's men, it was to be won by the Roundheads. While the King's Irish reinforcements arrived piecemeal in dribs and drabs, Parliament won the wholehearted support of Scotland. That support brought with it a fresh army, 20,000 strong. In January 1644, the Earl of Leven led his blue bonnets over the border. Unless this mighty army could be destroyed, the King's War was all but lost.